Hey, how you guys doing today? We are in Fort Mill, South Carolina, and you are looking at what was going to be a hotel on the PTL grounds in Jim Baker, which is long gone today, but the building still, re there's a lot of things here that still remain. We're going to a cafe here. We're gonna meet two dear friends. They've worked here for many years, so they're gonna kind of give us a story about PTL. But we're going to Chatty Cathy's Cafe first, and then we'll come back and tell you a little bit about what's going on out here. Hope you'll join me. Hey everybody, we're at Chatty Cathy's, and this is Marty, and she's gonna tell you a little bit about this building, what it used to be, and her the part she played in the Jim Baker Ministries. Well, we're in what is called the Registration Building, uh, here on the property, there were four campgrounds, and when campers came, they came into this building first and registered, and it was like a big lobby, and you could sit and relax and have coffee, and the first winter after the building was built and the students were on campus, um, there was a big snowstorm and the students and my husband and my family had to come here and camp out in this building for three or four weeks. We cooked in this fireplace. We had grills outside and cooked food and the students just loved it and we became a part of their lives. And God truly blessed, but this, this building brings back a lot of good, wonderful, warm mem memories. And you said that your husband was the first electrician mm -hmm. for Jim Baker, and that you, tell me what you did for him. Okay, in the very beginning, I worked in the, the uh, letter department where we printed letters and sent them out. Um, and then when Jim found this property and decided to to build on this property. Uh, Bob Daniel at the time was going to be the manager over this property, the building of it, and he asked me, asked me to come and be sort of like his assistant. And so my first job here on the property was like a human resource person. And I had a little office trailer, we'll show you outside in a minute. Um, and all of the first people who were hired uh, to work uh, that first summer uh, came through our office. I wanted to show you the lobby. They have really good food here now. We're going to go outside. Marty's going to tell us a little bit more about what used to be on the property. But now that you can get lunch, breakfast, smoothies, goodies, and this is the actual owner right here. We just spoke to her a minute ago. So we'll go outside and tell you a little bit more. Okay, and Marty tells me that the, this, again, is a registration office for the campground, and there were four campgrounds, Marty said. You can actually see the lake over there. Were the campgrounds over there behind the lake, Marty? No, they were down this road. Okay, they were down this road. Yes. And now they're housing developments. Yes. But now this is the original building for the registration office, but they have bricked over the wood, correct? But the wood is still behind it, and you can tell from the inside of the building that that beautiful wood is still there. If you'll look over here, where this pine tree is, cedar tree, that's where my little office trailer was sitting. And this was actually a cow pasture, and it had a barbed wire fence around it. I'll never forget the first day coming over here and seeing all this and think having to come through the cow pasture and miss the patties and climbing under the barbed wire fence and thinking, this is where I'm going to work. <laughs> and I bet you couldn't even imagine what was going to be here, all of the water parks yeah. and the you know amusements and tell me about you said that jim had told you guys he wanted a farm and what all did yeah. he want yeah he wanted a farm with a petting zoo and horseback riding animals and things and so my husband uh told him he would do that and but i need marty and so he said finally he said okay so that's what we did we built the farm and 
if you will look over at the houses on that side of the road at one point in time that was right next to the road that was a big vegetable garden huge vegetable garden and all the people that lived here on the property were allowed to to have vegetables from that garden and this building over here was the wagon wheel restaurant and we did give vegetables for them uh to use in the wagon wheel that's incredible okay we're now at the upper room and marty could you tell us a little bit about what was here it's beautiful it looks like jerusalem it, it is and this is the walk of faith and we we need to walk down here and i need to show you what it is um there are there are scriptures on these each one of these and what we did was we walked here we said these scriptures and prayed matthew 8 19 that one so yeah. you all the, he, you all would just walk along and read yeah, the scriptures and pray and, and people did this people did this and this, this was what 1978 78 no this was like 79 okay and most everything had been built 80. by then and this was back in those days it's called the upper room and i think a church uses it now but what did you did okay, the bakers what, use what it for? happened here was in the basement of this building was our telephone where you could call in for prayer and and you could call in for prayer requests in the basement in here you could go in and you could pray i wish we could get in but i don't think it's open today Locked. Just get a shot of the windows. Jim went to Jerusalem and went to the upper room, and he came back and he built this for people to come and pray. And Marty, you said this sculpture has been here since the beginning as well. This, this is Pilate washing his hands. Okay, so Pilate was, tell, tell people what that is. Yeah, Pilate was washing his hands saying that he couldn't find any fault with this man, Jesus. And here stands Jesus with the crown on his head of thorns. And you were telling me a very interesting story about God brought you a vision. Well, um, Jim was in, Jer in Israel, in Jerusalem, and being on the property, you know, the Lord woke me up one night and showed me a vision. And I was up above these trees, and there was a white flower blooming out of the trees. And I said, what is that, Lord? And he said, I will show you. And Jim came home, and two weeks later, he went on TV and announced, I, God spoke to me that this was going to be a place of prayer. And he went on TV two weeks later and said this was going to be the upper room. Wow. And so living on the property, God opened the door many times for me to see the future and to just know that he was here and he was in this place. Mm. Okay, we're standing outside of what it says, Christians for Messiah School of Ministry and also Antioch International Church offices. And there's several other things in here. But Marty, what did this, this is an original okay. building. This building right here was the uh, School of Evangelism, the building there. And then this was Heritage Village Church. This was the church. And then in the So they would have church services in here. Now this was not Sunday. this was not the studio. This was the church. This was the church. It's it started out to be the studio. Okay. And God told Jim that it needed to be a church. And so he built the studio behind. 
Okay, now we're in front of what used to be the original studio where they filmed the Tammy and Jim and Tammy Baker show, right? Right. This was the studio, um, and he built this after God spoke to him and told him that the building up front should be the church. And it was the church for the staff and anyone, all of the people that camped here and lived here, you know, that came Yeah, and vacation. there were a lot of people that lived here, and you all lived here on yeah, the property. right. And, and we just passed some condos that were original. Um, yes. And I'm going to show you all the parking lot. It's huge. And she said this parking lot was always completely full. Now we're driving through what is the last. Marty said there were four campgrounds. And this is the last remaining campground that people used to come and spend their vacations at. She said a lot of these people live here now. You can see these huge big trailers and campers. And we're going to come up. Uh, on an original tram stop here in a minute that's been here and that people would catch the trams, right, Marty? Yes, yes. There were trams that ro ran all over Constantly, the park? Constantly, yes. And I see this, this has to be an original bathhouse. It is. Yeah. Back in the 70s. And that's the or original. Now, this is the original building. This was the registration for the campground? Yes, for this particular okay. campground. So, this is original. And right over to the right, and I think I'll get out and let you guys see it, is one of the tram stops. I think it's the only one left. And, and there, they were, on the four campgrounds, they were probably everywhere. Well, they were all over the property. Yeah, they were. So, that's an original tram stop. Okay, we're going into what is being, is Morning Star Fellowship Church. And... This is, Marty, you said this is also a hotel now? And this was a hotel and is a, was and is? Yes, it is a hotel. Okay. Yep. Hotel, conference center, retreat center. And you are? Matthew, I live here. Work here. You live and work here? Graduate. In the hotel? And a student graduate from years ago, yes. Matthew. Okay, cool. Now, Marty, we're getting ready to come into the main street and what used to be on this street. Shops, Shops. beauty salons, yes, everything. clothing stores. Yes. Isn't this phenomenal? Looks like, well, this place used to be like Disney World. Look at the sky. Now, they're having a conference up there. You just heard the speakers. Maiden Street Little Theater. And this was booming back in the day. It says conference center. Need to be kind of sneaky in here, guys. Because <laughs> we came in the back way. The doors are locked in here. But um, this is one of the original trolleys that used to run outside kind of sad but you know I'm glad to see it's still standing that it's still here you know you hate to see history go away especially something so important as the Lord's work but see they're still doing the Lord's work here it's still be you being used for that now Marty's found a friend as she always has but of course you know living here they love to hear the history of this place everybody's been in awe today hearing her her stories So this is the original lobby to the hotel that's functional. Now it's the, not the lobby of the Grand Hotel out front that was not finished, but I just wanted to show you this. Marty said this is still a hotel, but you can stay here. God, those who have said, Lord, make me a spectacle to my generation. I believe there's many of you who are more provoked than ever. More there's a checking desk. Determined you're not going to let go until you receive what it is you've been pressing in for. And so, God, we ask, Lord, we join our faith to this prophetic word that... I'll show you the elevator. I desire that that pretty. is still over into morning star. And so I'm going to ask Randy there goes Marty. And release that for this group. It comes out of you because you have a revelation of it. 
And I think that's kind of the paradigm that Isaiah saw in Isaiah 6 when the seraphim are seeing the holiness of God, holy, 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 and the whole place was being filled with smoke and glory. Well, it was coming out of them as they were declaring God's holiness. And I had this experience on the 7th of April. And right in the middle of, the, of seeing this access is being given to this, uh, to you and I, to begin to see things we haven't seen before. Prophesying things from a realm we haven't seen before. Prophesying from the unseen realm. And so I, I believe you're here for a reason. Now we're outside now, Marty. We were talking about yes. the Grand Hotel. Now this we just came from a hotel, but this is another hotel that Jim had a dream. Well, this is just to add to the rooms. Oh. This is to offer more people the opportunity to come and stay. And that's what this was meant to be. And it never opened, did it? No, it's never been finished. And it looks... Hopefully Morningstar is going to finish it. Yeah, it looks like there's a sign over there that they're getting ready to do something with it. I mean, it's a beautiful building. And I hope that they will. Okay, we're on Regent Parkway driving to where the main offices were for the... Uh, ministry, but you said that you had ridden horses on all of this property. Yeah, we did. We rode and so tell me a little bit, Marty, about what all the ministry had to offer. What could you do if you came to PTL? You back could go in to the water park. You could ride a train. You could swim in many different places. You could go fishing. Uh, you could skate. You could play basketball, um, volleyball, tennis. And then in horseback ride, and then horseback you, said, and you said there was a golf course. The golf course is up here on the right, and you could go to the petting zoo, uh, to go horseback riding. Um, the shops down at the, at the, there were all kinds of shops where right. we just came from. And the general store had groceries and camping supplies. And you could camp yes. either in the lodges or at the campgrounds. Yes. It was amazing. But yeah, it was just like a... I think it was one of the most visited um, places, just like Disney World, right? Right. And so we are pulling in. This was what the main office for the ministry, right? It's called the World Outreach Center. And this is where the PTL ministry was housed. You can tell it's old school. It says Laura Ashley. So I wonder if they own that building now. Yes, I'm sure they do. Yeah. Either own it or lease it. We'll just kind of look. You can tell it's just so the 70s, layer upon layer. And so this is, is this also where, you know, maybe if he had books and tapes to sell, the, or these were just offices? These were just offices. Okay. And this is where uh, all of the ministry offices were. Okay. This is where all the mail came to and the letters were opened. This was the accounting department. Hmm. Now there's some tennis courts, so I guess you could have played tennis too. We forgot to mention that. These were original cabins that you could stay in. Look, Walnut Lodge, you can tell how old they are. But this is the lake. Marty said this was called Heritage Lake. And it backs up on the other side over there. You see, and here's more cabins around the lake. But this lake, there was a bridge that you could walk over to the hotel, the back of the hotel. We're not gonna walk all the way around there, but just such history and nostalgia. So you can see the hotel up there. And these cabins. Boy, that's old. Look at that. Probably sit out here and eat. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed your time today at Heritage PTL. A lot of history. It's thankful to Marty who helped us out. I just knew so much because she actually lived it. And remember, God loves you. God bless you. He said he will never leave you or forsake you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Until I see you again. Bye.